Hey everyone, it's Monday, July 11th, 2022. I am Doug. It's time once again to Cordal. Uh, let's see, where do we want to go today? You know, I haven't busted out my canoe in quite a bit, so let's go with canoe. There we go. I couldn't help myself. Sometimes I just have to do it. I'm sure you all understand, and thank you for uh, being so understanding. Uh, let's go with shirt next, S-H-I-R-T. Uh, that was good. Okay, all right. Uh, well, let's see. We have an unscramble on the first puzzle already, T-R-H-O-E. Uh, that is most likely going to be the word other. It, in fact, is. So there we go. Great start there. Um, we have four letters out of position, A, R, E, and R on the third puzzle. Um, and we have an S and A in position on the fourth puzzle, an I and R in position on the second. I think it's time for another evaluation word. Uh, I haven't played it in a couple days, so fudgy. What hath you, fudgy? Ah, we got a little bit here. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, hmm, interesting. There's a lot to think about here. Hmm, okay. Um, so we have U, I, and R in position on the second puzzle. Uh, not sure off the top of my head. Oh, is it going to be a weird one? Are, are we looking at a Q, U? I think we are. This could be quirk, couldn't it? I, uh, boy, that could be quirk. Is it quirk? It's quirk. <laughs> I wasn't, wasn't ready to fully pull the trigger on you know what, but uh, I was close to it. Uh, so we're in a nice position here. We have S A blank blank Y. It could be savvy. It could be sappy. Uh, I, I see things like that as possibilities. So here's the thing if we do an evaluation word with a P and a V, that might be really smart, right? Because uh, it would probably solve this puzzle. Um, so let's see. Uh, can I be really? Can I be really tricky and find one with a P and a V and something else, or is it just going to be like something like vapor, right, or something like that? Um, I think it's going to be paver. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to get. But I'll, I'll probably solve the fourth puzzle with paver. Uh, there we go. Okay. Well, yeah, we've got, we got, uh, we got savvy. Okay. So we'll take that. There we go. And now, uh, we have two guesses for this puzzle. We have a Y locked in a position, um, and R, E, and A out of position. So now we have to kind of figure this one out. Uh, the problem here is we didn't get a lot of movement on these, the A and the R and the E. So uh, now I've got to be very careful. Um, we haven't. We looked at the D, so it's not ready. So let me just actually let me just do a quick visualization here. R E A blank Y uh, at least fits is unique places for R E and A. Um, I don't think that. I don't think that really, oh, really is not accepted. Yeah, I didn't think so. Um, hmm. Yeah, see, I don't think, uh, I don't really want to go with um, my quote-unquote last evaluation word with, like, ready, because now I'm questioning this decision in terms of, ooh. I mean, I feel like at least one of R, E, and A are going to be in position, but I'm only going to have one guess left. That's the problem. That is the problem. Um, so before we commit to that, before we commit to that, okay, um, let's say if we take the A and we move it over a little bit. Ah, but look at this. When we move it over... Look what well, that opens up, relay. Now that's something that fits and makes a world of sense. So look at that. I just had to move that over a little bit. So that's the power of the visualization, folks. Uh, I'm pretty confident now that we have our answer. Is it, in fact, relay? It is relay. All right. Well, folks, that's it for yet another Daily Quartal. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow for some more Quartal.